Oh, I remember him, the time, revolution time. He's a very good man, and uh, I like him. How you go around saying, uh, no, it's better than first time. Now things are not going well, but it's time, if it's still, things have been going well. Revolution time, it's a, it has going around, if something is not good, that is going to the right, make like, make like this, but now it is everything at this point. It's very painful. I, I hear the news, it shocked me. It's very shocked me, so, but everybody can die, so let's take it like that. Rollins has been my friend for years because he was my dad's friend. So I'm very, very sad, honestly. But he was a great man and he actually has left a legacy for Ghana. Yeah, we we'll miss him. The way he talks, you know, the charisma. I'm so sorry about Rollins' death. I pray God puts, keeps his soul at a very good place. So that when we all die one day, we all meet there. I quite to remember a whole lot of things about him when he became military ruler and then up to civilian rule. So, in fact, when I heard the news this afternoon, I was very sad. I was just reading it on my phone when you people came. So I pray that his soul rests in perfect peace. I know him early part of 79, when he made his first when did they make the coup? Uh, afterwards, he hand over. And then he came back again to become a democratic president, leader. Afterwards, before he has handed over. Uh, I feel very sad. Uh, and they will do all, it is something that has happened. God gives and God takes. He was very honest to Ghanaians. Those days, security in his presence was very good. Political affairs, whether it was even his, his party, whatever, he still, it was a type that could make Ghana great. It's a sad news for Ghanaians, but I think Ghanaians will still continue to remember him for his kind, I mean, love to the whole guns.